Several days ago, Belarus demonstrated a new solution to counter javelins. A bucket. No, I'm not joking. This bucket is supposed to act as a fire pit that would distract IR-seeking missiles once they come crashing down onto the tank. That's the theory behind it, but would it actually work? No, it wouldn't. You see, the way Javelin works is that the CLU, or the Command Launch Unit, locks onto the thermal signature of the target. The information is then forwarded to the missile in the launcher. Once the missile is fired, it starts looking for the same thermal signature, and after it locates it, it comes down onto the target. This means that the missile would be unaffected by any surrounding thermal signatures. If that was the case, the easiest way to deal with Javelin would have been to just have tanks driving right next to each other to confuse the missile. But, sadly for them, that is not how it works. But, let's say, hypothetically speaking, that it would work. That it would divert the missile from the tank. Well, how are you supposed to keep the fire going? You can't know exactly when the missile will be launched at you, so you must have the fire going all the time. And for that, you would constantly have to fuel the flame. So, this would either go out before you even go to battle, or would require the fuel from the tank to be diverted to fuel the flame, which would, of course, make the tank run out of fuel extremely fast. I believe this is just a publicity stunt, for propaganda reasons. This is not the first time we've actually seen the Cope bucket. Russia demonstrated it last summer, months before the war even started. It was during the first showcase of the Cope cages in the Southern Military District. They even had several buckets hanging all around the tank. But they probably realized it was stupid, since we haven't seen it used in this war, or ever since. On top of all of that, let's not mention the mobility problems this contraption would cause. It would limit the ability of the tank to turn around, especially in wooded areas, or it would simply just break off. Either way, it is completely useless. That is why the only solution to javelin threats is to either mask your thermal signature, or mask the tank after the missile has been fired. We have seen Russians using Nakitka, which is the cover that reduces the thermal signature of the tank, but sadly there is no data on how effective it would be against javelin missiles. But I think that this attempt makes much more sense than the Cope bucket. And another solution Russians actually have is present on their T-14 Armata tank. The Afghanit active protection system on Armata utilizes a system that detects IR signatures of missiles, and automatically fires IR masking smoke including from the launchers placed on the turret's roof, which masks the tank's thermal signature. This way, a javelin missile would be unable to find the thermal signature it's looking for, and would therefore miss the tank. But again, sadly for them, T-14 Armata is still undergoing state trials after 7 years, and is still not in active service. That would be all, if you like my content you can consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.